So we're looking at this little cluster of lights that I've got here. Now, I've got a little bit of a notepad, a bit of a cheat sheet. What we've got is the Ulti 1000 helmet light or bar light. Runs wicked as a bar light as well for commuting. I've commuted a lot with this. I've commuted a bit with this. This is enough. This thing's wicked. I've done trail rides with this and this. I've done trail rides with the MJ906 4500 lumen and this. And uh, let's get into the impressions. So first off, looking for a helmet light. So needed something light, at least a thousand lumen. So this is a thousand. I'd even go the 1500. After having this, it's super light. It is 130 grams. So super light. Don't even notice it's on there. Obviously, uh, you know, super easy to attach, detach. Comes with this little GoPro mount which I love. Oh, the Ulti doesn't actually come with this mount. The uh, MJ906 comes with this mount. So it's just a GoPro adapter for a uh, Garmin mount. It's just a Garmin, simple Garmin style mount. So it attaches onto you any GoPro mount you got. So you can literally mount it anywhere. Mount it on the bars with the standard mount. So the standard mount that it comes with is this little sucker here. So, it's got this little attachment, 3mm Allen key, tighter, looser, and it's a rubber, rubber based, so grips really, really well. You don't need to put a heap of tension on it to get grip. Comes with three different lengths as well, so you can, if you've got a really wide bar or a really narrow bar, uh, yeah, you've got all the different, all the different size straps for that. So killer, handy. I'll put the photo of the runtime, the the claimed runtime, which I think is fairly accurate. I haven't run them flat. I haven't run any of these flat yet, uh, but they seem to go forever. So I've done hour, hour and a half trail rides. No worries. All the lights still running. Killer. So Ulti 1000 Mint. Love it. I'd even, like I said, I'd even go to 1500. It'd probably only be another 20, 30 grams heavier. It won't be much heavier. And maybe a little bit bigger battery in it. Um, and then it'd be just wicked light coming from above your head. But this is adequate. This is absolutely adequate. So I'm happy with that. RN3000. This thing surprised me a lot. So when they said 3000 lumen standalone light i thought eh, it's not really going to be 3000 lumen or it's going to be really really heavy and the mounting system is not going to be that good so it's the same mounting system as the ulti straight on i wouldn't run this as a helmet helmet light because it'd be a bit heavy but on the bar it's perfect tighten up that clamp doesn't ever move the clamp system on the bar is super small super kind of low profile, uh, doesn't hang off at all, it's killer, it's perfect. The only thing that I would suggest is maybe put a little veranda on it, because when you're sprinting, um, you're kind of leaning forward a little bit, and you're getting, your, your eyes are kind of looking into the light a little bit, so, you know, just a minor quibble, which is the same quibble with every light I've tested, every light's exactly the same. Uh, but power and longevity, as in uh, how long I can go for a ride for, this thing is killer. So I would have faith in going out for two hours with this on full bright and wouldn't have an issue with it. Would not have an issue with it at all. I don't have the runtime written down, but again, I'll put it up. And uh, Wicked Light. Very impressed with this 3000. Very impressed. So a couple of trail rides with it. Technical trails, plenty of, plenty of light. Seeing further ahead, plenty of light, no worries. 3000 lumen, it's, it's, to me, 3000 lumen's the dead minimum you'd want on your bar if you're riding technical stuff or high speed stuff um, and you want to send it. You know, you, you, at night, you're usually tiptoeing a little bit more because you can't see that much. But when you put lights like these on, you can definitely see what you want to do and you can send it. So, RN3000. Very, very impressed. You run it at low light, it's probably eight or 10 hours worth of worth of light here. So excellent commuting light and killer trail light, wicked trail light. 
don't have to have an ex external battery like the RN uh, sorry the MJ906S you got this external battery which is good because the light becomes a lot lighter the light itself becomes a lot lighter but you got to run a battery um, and and some power here as well so killer very very impressed 3000 is absolutely just seeing if it's got a full run time no. but they're waterproof as well water resistant so uh, rain hail or shine they'll be killer happy with that MJ906S now this is a 4500 lumen light so 4500 uh, the, ba the battery charger this is cool the battery charger uh, sorry the battery doubles as a charger for other things so you've got a little little port here you got one of the buttons gives you a so you got a button there it gives you a, a battery percentage left so three bars two or three lights two lights one light and then flat uh, but it's also got this little port here for charging another light or charging GoPro or charging just charging stuff it's, it's I like that little feature about it so I haven't used it to charge anything I haven't needed to but um, as long as you got the appropriate cable with you you can charge whatever you want so that's cool I like that the light itself 4500 lumen to be honest it didn't seem like it gave me a better spread or better light than the 3000 it didn't seem like it was 1500 lumens more so plenty of life obviously and still a great light uh, but I wouldn't rate it hugely over this one I'd say that I get the same amount of vision on the trail with this as I do with this so again super impressed with the RN3000 and just averagely impressed with the 906S I think the thing that makes the 906S uh, more enticing for me or not really enticing but more like oh yeah that's cool is the fact that you can use the battery to charge other stuff I like that these straps that come with the battery uh, so it's got these little these little grooves in it to to strap it down but if you strap it down to your frame like that with these grooves you end up with these big dingleberries of of extra strap and it catches on your leg and and it's kind of annoying it just rubs every now and then so it's kind of annoying so what I do is I don't even bother putting them through the holes I'll strap it over the so over the bike over the tube of the bike and then over the battery itself back around and through so it'll be sitting on the bike frame like that. So on top of the frame, not underneath it. Uh, you can go either way, but I just sit it on, on top of the top tube, right down by the seat. Doesn't get in the way. These straps are like silicon lined on the outside. So they once you put them somewhere, they stick. There's no moving, there's no up and down, there's no nothing. It's, it creates good friction. So that's killer. Comes with a heap of little bits and pieces. Like I said, the 906S comes with the GoPro mount to put on your helmet uh, or put on whatever. So that's cool. But yeah, not as bright as I would have expected. I tested the Gemini Titan quite a while ago at 4000 lumen and that was absolutely, absolutely brighter than this. I have the, M, uh, the Magic Shine Montier 6500 as well, which is a little brighter than the Gemini Titan, but not by much not by much it's very very bright and it's just I ran that helmet uh, sorry I ran that light with no helmet light and had no problems trail riding except for when I got to technical technical trails where I was looking further left or further right than what my bar was pointed so I was I was looking in the dark whereas if I had a helmet light I could have looked in the yeah I could have had light everywhere I looked so the Montier 60 6500 is super super bright and you can definitely get away with running without a helmet light on most trail rides but now that I've got this definitely helmet light all the time uh, commuting this on the bar it's wicked uh, for commuting I wouldn't bother putting this on just because of the hassle of taking the battery off and putting it back on uh, which isn't a big hassle but yeah why be less convenient when you can be more convenient by strapping this on or or strapping this on they're just killer so 
Magic Shine, thanks for sending me these lights. Uh, it's been a pleasure testing them. This is obviously just a short, kind of short-term test, so I can't speak for longevity, if, they, if they're gonna fail, whatnot. To be honest, I did have a failure with this one. So when I first got it, my first, my very first ride, the light itself blew out. So I don't know whether it was a, a faulty line, you know, faulty wire in the light or something like that, but the light blew out the first ride. I contacted Magic Shine. Uh, they said, yeah, no problems. Troubleshoot, see what's going on there and get back to us and we'll send you the new component, whether it's the battery or the light or whatever. Um, but being that I didn't have a different battery to test with it, uh, it was a little bit hard, or a different light to test with it. It was a little bit hard. The Montier 6500 uses a different uh, plug-in system, so I couldn't I couldn't swap them over to to see what was broken and what was still working. So I explained that to them, and they were cool. They said, "Yeah, all right, we'll send you out another unit and uh, test from there." So did that and tested and found that it was just the light, so the battery's still good. Um, Again, they were happy to, happy to change it over, so shout out to you guys. Stand behind their products, which is impressive. When they reached out to me to give me these lights, I made it clear to them that I'd be testing them objectively, as I always do, same, same. And most people that I share that uh, perspective with kind of don't want me to test their stuff. Um, well, not most, but some, some that have reached out. So, uh, honorable, yeah, honorable. Affordable. You know, reasonably priced, they're not cheap, they're not expensive. The Ulti 1000 is 120 bucks. The RN 3000 is 300 bucks. So, you know, that one's not cheap, but impressive. And the 906S is about 300 bucks as well. And my Montier, I paid, it was either 400 or 450 bucks. I got my little cheat sheet down here. Um, so, you know, not cheap. But what do you get? You know, what are you going to get for for fifty bucks or a hundred bucks? I know the Chinese lights are sometimes good; they're a bit hit and miss, and you never get warranty on them. So uh, spend a bit of extra money. They got these at Whippets. They got them at local bike shops. Uh, MagicShine.com. Those guys, they're the guys that actually hooked me up. So MagicShine.com. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, if you like night riding, get yourself some good lights for sure.